so I went into the army. I was injured, given painkillers. I was 19 when I realized that I was addicted to pain medication, opiates. My name is Miles Willett, uh, and I'm originally from Aroostook County. Uh, I live here in the Midcoast area now. And when I really realized I was addicted, it was about uh, nine months later in September, uh, I went to, uh, we went fishing in Newfoundland, my old man, we used to go every year. And uh, so I was out there and I didn't think about bringing medication with me. About three, four days in, I, uh, I hadn't taken my meds. I was sweating and I was puking and I thought it was bad fish. Uh, and my father uh, pulled me aside and he's like, hey, when's, when's the last time you've taken your meds? And I'm like, well, I don't, I don't know, it's been a few days. And then he was like, you know, you're going through withdrawals right now. I went back to school for massage therapy. I wanted to learn about holistic healing and pain, you know, pain management that way, uh, rather than taking medication. So the whole time I was using, I didn't, you know, I didn't want to use, I just had no choice. It wasn't even about getting high, it was about being able to function. So I opened up the health spa, but it, <laughs> I was, uh, I was treating people holistically, and in my office in the back room, I was, you know, s snorting Oxycontin. It led me to uh, stealing from my father, um, led me to prison. 18 months later, I got out with 50 bucks and a bus ticket, but I just fell right back into the same hole that I was in. Uh, within, within months, I was using again. And uh, within the year, I was back in prison, uh, this time for 30 months. In these last two years, uh, I met Restorative Justice, um, RJP, and I became a mentor. Restorative Justice Project uh, referred me to uh, Dr. Ira Mandel. I got an email that the Midcoast Recovery Coalition was hiring a case manager, and by November, I was hired on by Midcoast part-time uh, as a consultant. And, uh, and I've been doing that ever since. This is why we, we do this, to kind of give people that second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth chance. You know, I know it's hard sometimes when, so when you've given someone so many chances, but they're human beings. <sighs> it's knowing that our kids might not, you know, my little girl, you know, that she doesn't have to struggle and go through this, you know, go through the whole, you know, the whole span of addiction. So for me, giving back is just uh, not going back. Some people like to say not in my backyard, but uh, it's in all of our backyards. It's it's everywhere, and if you haven't been affected, you will be. Um, it's just a matter of time. So you can stand back, and you can hang out and wait to be the victim, or you can stand up and do something about it.